Hey guys, it's Eddie Speed with Note School. And this is my little studio in my office. <laughs> I got my good old Yeti mic and uh, my a camera that I can adjust around different ways. And uh, my industrial strength laptop that uh, uh, where I can process uh, video really efficiently on it. We've done dozens and dozens and dozens of events since the virus just here virtually. 14, 15, three-day classes. Three deal labs a week, every week. Uh, I do anywhere between two and five podcast interviews where I'm being interviewed a week, right? So I'm busy here doing this, and I'm talking about the business. I recently was looking at a set of bullets we put together of why passive investors, why burnout landlords would rather fund note business activity than stay into their rental business. Number one, of course, is what I call the big T. Okay? Now, some people say, oh, I wonder if that stands for tenants or I wonder if that stands for toilets. No, it stands for tolerance because tenants and toilets will test their tolerance. You know, a lot of people, millions, bought a rental property as an alternative investment to traditional stocks and bonds. But they found out a lot of times that they were not buying the income that the original financial modeling said it was going to be. They weren't buying the the pain-free investing, the passive factor they thought they were looking for. And so now they're turning to notes. The most efficient, most effective thing we can do for our note business, whether I'm a real estate investor doing creative financing, whether I'm a note buyer, whether I'm just you know, an investor that is buying notes with retirement accounts and then reselling partials or income streams to go recapitalize, any of these things, the most profitable thing I can do for my business is find passive investors, not banks, passive investors that can help fund my business. Long-term, low-yielding passive investors. And that is the market condition that we have found out that is so plentiful. In fact, I was doing um, a podcast even earlier today. I'm asked this. I've done probably 10 wealth podcasts in the last two or three weeks. And they've all told me the same thing. Our investors don't have anything to invest in. They're not going to invest in the stock market right now. Real estate's the wrong timing. People, people that are doing syndications, you know, are, are, are making projections on properties that they don't know quite that, what that's going to be. Our investors need something to invest in. They're sitting on more dry cash than they've ever had. So I was sitting here looking at this list. Top of the list says being the bank. Dollars invested in the note are far less than the value of the underlying collateral. In other words, it's pretty simple. If the house is worth $200,000 and you invest $130,000 in the note, the collateral is worth two hundred. dollars Well, you're not going after their property, right? You're not wanting their property. But if you bought the property, you would invest the full $200,000. You buy the note secured by the property, you're only investing one hundred and thirty. dollars You got a lot of cushion if something goes wrong, right? And does it make income? So here's a, here's a nice, simple income number. An investor earning only a 6% return on a $100,000 investment starts immediately getting back $1,140 per month. They get their money back in about half of the term through a 12-year investment. So about half the, half the way through, they've gotten their money and they're going to earn $164,000 in payments over time. That's just over 12 years. If you did a 20-year note or a 30-year note, yet multiple would be way higher. So think about it. That's what, that's what passive investors want. They want a loan to be serviced, the check to come in every month. They don't have to fret about anything. And they're getting a return that's a real return because they're not responsible for running a business. When you own a rental property, you're running a business. And you're responsible to keep the business going. 
not just pay the taxes and insurance. Whatever it takes to keep that rental in good rental shape, that's your obligation. The note, you're the bank. That's what passive investors want. Single biggest important thing I can say that you need to make sure you're doing in your business is that you are developing your passive investor strategies. Burnout landlords are a massive force in the market. They're looking for something new to do. Every wealth interview that I do, the, the, the people that manage wealth all say my investors are sitting on cash and looking for something that they can feel comfortable with. When I describe the notes and I describe how it works and I describe what it looks like, they say my investors can live with that. If you are looking for that and you're focused on finding investors and proper messaging of what investors want, you're going to find out it's a bonanza and opportunity. Long-term, inexpensive, private capital to fund your note business. That's a bonanza. See you later. Hey, for those of you guys that are still watching, Hey, remember, like this. YouTube loves for you to like what I'm saying, and I love for you to like it too. And subscribe. Now, a lot of people ask us on a regular basis, what do I do? How do I progress? How do I learn more about what Eddie is talking about? Well, right here in the band, here's some information we'd love to share with you. We've got great articles, great stories, great training of all types that show you how to position yourself in the market and position yourself for the market ahead. We'd love to hear from you. Let's, uh, let's take action. Let's go kill this business that's going to be ahead of us because the opportunity is going to be incredible. See you later.